Hello and welcome to Bailey's. This week we are taking a look at the Fierce Firearms CT Rival. This is the rifle you can see in front of you. Um, basically lightweight carbon fibre rifle. Uh, it comes with a C3 Precision match grade stress tested barrel, uh, which is guaranteed half minute accuracy. Um, full carbon fibre stock, nice vertical pistol grip there so you can get a good uh, position behind the gun. Nice high cheek piece on the back here, as well as a good limb saver, which is very nice and squishy. Me personally though, I still need a little bit more height, so I've had to stick on a Kydex riser, but well, that's just for me. Based on a Remington action, so it's a two lug bolt, same as a Remington, with a nice 70 degree throw on the bolt. Um, this is a bit sticky at the minute, because it's new, uh, it's still bedding in. Um, you've got two stage safety on here, so once the bolt's closed, just to prove a point, this is safe and open, as you can see even a carbon fibre follower, pop that back up and close it, this rifle is safe, you've got a two position safety on there, and the trigger in this is fully adjustable as well, so it's a really nice lightweight trigger, I believe you can tune it between one and three pounds. Uh, part of the stock design, obviously it is bedded for the action, which is good. At the front here, you've got an integral Picatinny rail built into the actual um, stock, which saves you faffing around trying to sort bipods for it, you can just bolt them straight on. And you've got a QD, quick release sling point at the front and at the back. So overall, really, really nice rifle, finished to a high standard. Uh, the carbon fibre stock looks absolutely fantastic and it is a very lightweight package. Um, on this rifle, I have put a GPO 3 to 18 by 56 i um, scope, ideal for stalking, ideal for low light conditions. The illumination on this is superb, and it's got side focus as well. Moderator wise, I've put a Wildcat P8 on the front. Um, I personally found I needed a bit of weight up the front end, um, but it's all down to your preference, you can stick a really nice lightweight can on there if you want to. And the bipod is a bone bipod. So all in all, a really, really nice stalking or long range package. Um, I've pushed this out now to 500 yards uh, and it's been, it's been consistent. So what we'll move on to, we'll do an accuracy test at 100 yards and then we'll go up on the hill onto the 200 yard point and start pushing it out a bit further. But all in all, a really, really nice, well built, carbon fibre lightweight rifle. Um, so far, it's doing the job really, really well. So yeah, let's move on to the accuracy test. Right then, I'm gonna kind of have to rush this out a little bit, because uh, my camera battery's gonna die. So we're just gonna do a quick three shot group with the Fierce Firearms CT Rival in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I'm chucking it in the deep end. These are 120 grain copper E-tip. This is what I need it to be able to shoot. Uh, it's one of the big brands out there, so we're going to give this a go. Three shots. Fingers crossed, it'll do what we need it to do. So it's not about where they're grouping, because I am going to adjust it. I'll do me. Cloverleaf at 100 yards and a three shot group with a carbon barrel is more than enough to prove accuracy. So, all right, let's get on with the rest of the video. So, as you can see, three shot group out of that rifle. Very, very tidy indeed. We're just taking a walk down to the actual target. So, I can actually show you on there. I do need to adjust it across. Well, that's with those, uh, with those E tips. So let's turn the camera around in a second. That and 100 yards is more than good enough for me. So 
Uh, very much happy days. All right, let's get it out on the 200 yard point. So what we're gonna do, I've zeroed this gun with the 120 grain E-tip nozzlers. Um, this is the uh, Fierce Firearms CT Rival Carbon. Nice, very nice gun, very lightweight. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I've got some 140 grains here. Um, I'm just gonna see what the point of impact change is gonna be down range. Uh, this top isn't super stable, so you are gonna see a little bit of uh, gun bounce, but that's part of the course. So 200 yards, we're just gonna see what the difference is. Uh, with where these shots fall. A little bit more drop than the others. I'll tell you what though, stacking them on top of each other. So, just so you can get an idea, on that bacteria gong, the group on the top of the gong, the very 12 o'clock position gong, that's the 120 grain, and then three shots I've just fired on the big centre gong, that's that great big black mark they've pretty much stamped on top of each other there, so not bad at all. My point of aim is the top of that gong, and with the 140s they are grouping there. So we're just going to carry on. Uh, put some more down on there with the same point of aim and uh, just see how they continue to group on that spot so here we go on top of the same group the wind edged off a little bit for that one We use that guide. No, it's gone, Foxhead. I won't push that one across again, let you see. But well, there you go. You can see the wind and how it's rattling across the range. So, yeah, nice. So, as you can see from the clips there, from the, uh, the zero in process and showing exactly what uh, this rifle is capable of. She's not even fussy on ammo. She'll shoot 120 grain, 140 grain, and she'll do it all day long. Um, it's not a gun you want to get on the range and just hammer the hell out of and put round after round through because getting it hot is detrimental to what the rifle's for. Um, but as a lightweight stalking package, absolutely awesome. Um, it's a really, really nice gun. It's that custom gun feel. Um, from a factory build which is quite nice but then again the price does reflect that this isn't a cheap rifle by any means um, and it is an investment but it's one of them you could spend a lot of money on a custom rifle um, and go through that process of having one built or you can just buy a rifle that already gives you that feeling and to be fair this doesn't doesn't do a bad job at all uh, it's lightweight it's comfortable it shoots well it groups well um, and we'll uh, we'll be putting it to the test over the next few weeks um, on live quarry as well so I hope you enjoyed this video for information on these rifles you can visit the fierce firearms uh, website um, for your nearest retailer Bailey's we obviously stock them um, but for a full list of retailers you can visit Ray Trades website Ray Trades UK uh, on there is a list of retailers that will uh, have these in stock so yeah any questions give us a shout uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much